Hi everyone, welcome back to Funston TV. I'm here with Herky today to talk to you all about crate training a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So with that technique, you're basically getting your puppy Cavalier to get really accustomed to a little crate or a little cage and that way that area becomes your puppy's safe area. And that way you're potty training your dog to not go inside the house. And the one we're using or we were using when Herky was a puppy was this uh, little pet cage basically and it's a portable device as well so we would also use that when we traveled with her. So right when we got her at 8 weeks, we already were starting to let her go to sleep in that little crate. What's really important with crate training is that you want to make that environment really safe and you want to positively reinforce that behavior of being in the crate. So by that I mean you don't put the puppy in the cage as a punishment because that's actually going to work against you and the puppy is not going to want to be in that crate because it's going to associate being bad and being punished to being in the cage. So instead what you want to do is uh, pet your puppy before you put her in the crate and once she accepts to go in the crate then you can give her treats and you can also put some blankets in there and some toys or something that smells like you maybe so she gets really accustomed to that environment. Also what's really important is, is that although it's really heartbreaking, you really should not get into when the puppy is crying when in the crate because they will do it obviously, especially the first times because they're not used to it. But you really have to let the puppy self soothe and get used to it. I know Herky, uh, she always used to cry for the first five minutes maybe of when she was in the crate and eventually she'll just get used to it and fall asleep in her crate. And although it's really heartbreaking and you really want to go get them when they're crying, you really shouldn't because then they're not stupid, especially Cavaliers. They really know that when they do something that works on you, they'll do it over and over again. And Herky is the master of that. So if we, we were to give in to her every time she was in the crate and crying, she would not be very well potty trained at this point. And another trick for crate training when you don't want the, the puppy to get too upset is that you should block all the visual holes from the crate. So for example, on the crate that we're using, the front grill, there was holes everywhere so she could see. So we would usually cover the front with a blanket so she couldn't see and when she doesn't see, she usually doesn't cry as much. We shopped around for the crates and we found that Walmart had a really good one that was really perfect for her, that fit her for a lot of months. And the price was really decent as well, so I'll be listing it down below if you're interested. So for the process of crate training itself, when you have a puppy and you want to potty train the puppy by crate training, the process is really simple, but you have to be really, really consistent with it. When you have a puppy, you probably know that it's 100% of your time and focus has to be on the puppy otherwise accidents are prone to happen. So what you want to do is get the puppy accustomed to the crate and every time the puppy is in the crate, your puppy should assimilate the crate to resting and a safe place. So when the puppy is done playing and when the puppy wants to rest, he should be going to his crate. Once you're done playing with your puppy and everything is well supervised and you're done playing with the puppy, you should immediately take the puppy outside before you put him back in the crate. When we got her at 8 weeks old, she didn't have all her shots yet so what we did was we built her a little pee pad outside on the balcony right here to get her accustomed to grass and so we basically had a big uh, plastic tray a heavy-duty plastic tray in which we put a real piece of grass and uh, got her accustomed to peeing on there so every time she was done playing we would take her outside on her pee pad she would do her business out there and then it was crate time. In the crate she would sleep and she would get some rest and everything. And when you want to play with the puppy or when she's done, you take her out to the pee pad immediately. So it's always that same cycle. It's crate, outside, 
play outside and then crate. So again, right after she comes out of the crate, she has to go outside immediately to do her business on the pee pad or wherever she can. And remember that puppies are never supposed to play unsupervised because they can chew on everything and accidents can happen before you know it. So you, you're always supposed to supervise the puppy when you play with them. That way it's just safer for you and also better for the puppy as well. And I know it's really hard because once you're done playing with the puppy and you have other stuff to do, you usually want to just leave the puppy to play but that is really not the way to do it because that way she's probably gonna go potty right in the middle of the living room when you're not looking because when they're young they go very often so you want to repeat that cycle so that she knows she has to hold it every time she is in the crate every time that your puppy coming from outside to potty you should always reward them so that way they know that they just did something good and it's gonna reinforce the positive uh, act that they just did. They're really smart puppies. And Cavaliers are really smart and they're gonna catch on really fast. So it's not an exercise that you're gonna have to do for very long, especially when you're consistent with it. When you leave the puppy unsupervised and accidents happen because you know we're all human and it's bound to happen at least once, you really don't wanna hit the puppy and you don't wanna negatively reinforce the fact that she peed or pooed on the floor because especially with Cavaliers, they really don't respond well to hitting or yelling or anything, especially when they're young, she's not gonna really understand it. So what you wanna do is just, when you see that she peed, you can say no and, and then you clean it up. And with the paper that you cleaned up, you actually put it outside where she is supposed to be so that next time she's outside she can actually smell it and go at the right place but if she did an accident and you weren't there to see it you shouldn't even yell at her because she's not going to understand why you're yelling at her when you catch her in the act is the only time you should actually discipline and correct her behavior So a great thing about crate training is that a dog is actually a den dwelling animal so they'll never do their business in their actual sleeping and resting area. So if you keep the crate just large enough for your puppy to roll around, stand and sleep, then it should be an area that's confined enough for your dog not to do its business in there. And with that technique, we, we were really happy because Herky, as a puppy, she only had three accidents in her whole puppyhood. Like up until she was one, I think she only did her business three times in the house by accident. And that's because of us, because we took too long to actually take her out. But she learns very, very fast. And you'll see that with this method, it's really the best way to teach your dog how to be clean and not to be potty inside. And once your puppy is actually big enough and uh, he's, he's too big for his cage, you can actually switch from a crate to a playpen. And it's actually what Herky still sleeps in today because she really, really loves that setup and Herky likes a really confined area of her own. And I find that when she has too much room to roam, she actually is less calm than when it's confined. So she prefers sleeping in a playpen. Um, when you start out with the playpen, since it's really big, you want to start it out as a square. You start it out smaller so she's used to it, especially like it's bigger than the crate. So just for her to get used to it, you can use the same methods of reinforcements as petting and giving treats and including toys that she loves and blankets that smell like you. Herky sleeps with this one every night and she really, really loves him. She doesn't go to sleep without him. So you can include items like that in there to get her really used to it. And then you can slowly enlarge the area of confinement that she has to sleep in and she'll really get used to it. She might not even want to sleep anywhere else like Herky. Herky won't sleep unless she's in that area and she sleeps there. So the playpen was a great discovery because the dog can actually stand in it. And although you're supposed to get a crate that's big enough for your dog to actually stand and spin in. This is actually a much wider and high area because there's nothing actually covering the playpen. So when you actually switch from the crate to the playpen, what we did also was cover the whole playpen at first with a blanket so that it's not too much of a big transition from the crate to the playpen. Once she gets used to it, you can get rid of uh, that blanket and she'll just really find it comfortable to be in that area whether there's a blanket or not. And of course, when you cover the crate or the playpen, make sure there's some breathing holes. According to the vet that we go see, she really recommended that crate training is done up until 18 months. And Herky's not at that mark yet, so we 
we just still want to keep doing that experiment although now she's really good with potty training she goes only three times a day and she can hold it in very well so she's pretty much used to it but she still likes to sleep in her confined area so that's how well crate training works I feel is that they really get used to their little area and they feel like it's their little bedroom and she even asked to go in there she'll scratch at that playpen door for us to open it for her to go sleep in there so she really 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 loves that area now Funny anecdote, one of the three accidents she had as a puppy was actually a vengeful poo that she did right in the middle of our home office because if she is just too smart and she knows and it was because we, we showered her and we were laughing at her because she looked so funny when she was wet so she went right in the middle of our home office and she pooed right there and when she did that she was already pretty well house broken and she knew that she only had to go outside so it was really a vengeful poo that she did because these little cavaliers are really really smart and they are so attached to us and they are so smart that they will tend to get vengeful when you don't do things their way. So that's pretty much my tips about crate training. Uh, I know puppyhood is difficult. I wish you good luck with uh, crate training your puppy. It's a lot of fun so you should always enjoy it while it lasts. It goes by really fast so just be consistent. Don't get mad at your puppy and enjoy every moment of it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos of Herky that we did, you can go through our video list and, and all the dog videos have purple highlighting on them so you can spot out the videos that way with the purple lettering. Let me know down below what you would like to see next and if you would like more videos on dog care or anything. Please thumbs up this video if you like it and if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Hope you're having a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye! You cover it just the front. Oh, I put her in the crate so that way she assimilate or. Okay, girl. Turkey had no bloopers. Well, I was so happy just to know that my little Herky was born and she was somewhere and she was going to be with us soon. So just four weeks after that, the breeder sent us photos of four month old Herky and I swear from that moment on it was just, it was over. She had one over my heart 